Have you ever gone to a restaurant and the waiter or waitress seemed like they were annoyed, seemed like they were tolerating you or maybe even rude to you when they were taking your order or serving your food? Like, yeah, what, would you, what do you want to order? Uh, I like the filet mignon, uh, Chateaubriand, uh, some incredibly homemade french fries and truffle sauce. Uh, okay. And they just don't have a good attitude. You see, they are servers of food. Now, what does that have to do with you in admissions? Well, it has a lot to do with you in admissions because you are not a server of food. Unless maybe you give some food when a person comes in, which I highly recommend. Offer them some healthy snacks when they come in, by the way. Secret tip. However, when you're not serving them food, you are actually a server of inspiration. When people go to a restaurant, they are hungry for food, but not just food. We go to a restaurant many times, not just for food, but for the overall experience. We get to be served by someone. We get to feel like a king or a queen for an hour or a few hours while we're there. If the server is exceptional, the better the server is, the more engaging, professional, uplifting, fun, humorous, the better our entire experience and the better our food will taste actually. It's the same with us in admissions. When people come to school, they are hungry for a career. They are hungry to get the education, the skills they need, so they can go on to that career they are passionate about. However, if they are not served in an inspirational, enthusiastic manner, their overall experience will not be positive and many will not move forward who otherwise would have. So your skill set focus this week, your skill set development focus this week is become an even better server of inspiration. And don't do what so many admissions people do, which is they say, they'll say, Lexington, I already do that. Ask yourself, however, instead of saying you already do that, ask yourself, how well do I do that on a scale of one to 10? Do I make every single person who I talk with on the phone from the very first syllable feel like a king or a queen or a VIP? from your very first syllable and through the entire experience they have with you on the phone. When a person comes to see you for their career planning session and personal tour, do you make them feel like a king, a queen, a VIP from the very first syllable, the very first eye contact you have with them from the moment they come to your school to the moment they leave? People are starving for inspiration and human connection and authentic caring. And if you become a world-class, best-in-class, best-in-world server of inspiration, you will see way more people showing up for their appointments and you will see way more people applying, enrolling, and starting at your school and going on to profoundly successful careers in the passion of their choice, their career passion of their choice. This is Lexington. I will see you next time. Keep growing, keep expanding, keep stretching, keep learning, and keep role-playing every day.